Okay, so today I want to show you this little thing called the Keychainino because it's supposed to be the keychain based on the Arduino. And it's the Keychainino 144, that's the number of LEDs, I believe there are multiple versions, this one seems to be the latest one. And it's interesting little device powered by the cell battery, it has two buttons and if you press both at the same time, it comes with this Arkanoid game. Now as the name suggests, this is based on the Arduino, it's using the very same chip as on the Arduino Uno and you might see that the Arduino Uno is full of components but we only have a few in here. We have all those LEDs, the main chip, two buttons, on the back side there is this battery holder and then on the front we have two more components, this looks like a resistor and the capacitor. And that's quite unusual because I always thought that you need more components to make the Arduino Uno chip work, at least this, this is the external oscillator which sets the clock but apparently you don't need it. You can use the internal oscillator which will limit you slightly but more about that later. If we look closely to the Arduino Uno board, we have 14 digital pins, maybe 20 if we also use those analog pins, but the Keychain Nino board has 144 LEDs. So if we want to use multiplexing to control those LEDs, we need 12 pins for columns and 12 pins for rows, so 24 pins in total and we don't have that many pins. So instead, I believe that this is using a special type of multiplexing called the Charlie plexing, and that might be the reason why you see those LEDs slightly blinking. I mean, it's not that bad as on the camera, it's pretty horrible on the camera, but you can still see a little bit of blinking going on, especially if many LEDs are shining at the same time. So let's see how hard would it be to upload a different game, because I'm pretty bad at playing this one. Actually, before we do so, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is PCBWay. And that's because if you are making electronic projects, sooner or later you might need PCB or SMD stencils or PCB assembly. And in all those cases, PCBWay has you covered, they offer all of those services for a reasonable price. On top of that, if you use the link down in the description, you can get 10 PCBs for free only paying for shipping. So thank you PCBWay and let's get back to our project. Now one of the reasons why there are so many components on the Arduino Uno board is because there is this chip, that's the USB 2 TTL chip, the USB 2 serial chip, which is used to upload a new sketch to the Arduino chip. We don't have anything like that on the Keychain Nino board, in fact we don't even have the USB port. So if we want to upload a new sketch, we need to use a programmer and we need to connect it to those six pins which are called ICSP, that stands for the In Circuit Serial Programming. And if we look at the Arduino Uno board, we do have six pins in here, which are also called ICSP, so it should be possible to program the keychain using the Arduino Uno using those six pins, and in that case the Uno will work as the programmer. So instead of uploading a new sketch to this chip, we will upload it to that chip. Obviously that requires some preparation, so let's open the documentation for the keychain there are some informations in here, but the important part what I'm looking for is how to program the Keychain Nino. And there are different sections for different versions of the Keychain Nino. I have this one, the V144. So let me make this page slightly smaller and also open the Arduino IDE. And the documentation says that as the first thing we need to install the mini core library. And I don't think that the library is a correct name, because you install libraries from here, and this is actually not the library, but it's support for more boards, for a new board. So what we want to do is we want to copy this URL, and then go into the file, preferences, and then if you don't have anything in here, you can just paste the URL in here, but in my case I will click this button and add a new line with this URL, then click the OK button and OK button, it should download that JSON file and then we can go to the boards manager which is this icon and in here we want to type in mini core and there should be only one entry and we want to install the support for those boards. If everything is installed successfully we should see a new entry inside the tools boards and we should see this new mini core submenu but we will not set this one yet. Instead we want to go back into the documentation and we need to install the keychain Nino library. Now usually you would install libraries from here, you will just type in keychainino, but there is nothing in here with this name. So instead we need to download the zip file by clicking this link. And then inside the Arduino IDE, we need to go to sketch include library, add zip library, and select that downloaded zip file. 
Again, just to make sure that everything was installed properly, we can go to Sketch Include Library, and there should be a new entry called the Keychainino in here. We will not use that library yet, because as a first step, we need to take the Arduino Uno and set it as a programmer, and that's actually the step number three. Configure the Arduino board as the ISP programmer, the in-system programmer, and for that we need to open one of the default sketches from the file examples, which is called the Arduino ISP, and the sketch is also called the Arduino ISP. Then we need to connect the Arduino Uno to the PC using the USB cable, and then select it from this drop-down menu, or we can as well go to Tools, Board, and then select the Arduino Uno board, and make sure that the correct port is selected, and then we can upload this sketch to the Arduino Uno board. Once the sketch is uploaded, the Arduino Uno will act as a programmer, so now we can connect the keychain you know, to the Arduino Uno, and there is this image in here showing how this should be connected. But again, there is this ICSP header which has 6 pins, and we have 6 pins on the keychain you know. So let's see if we can not use wires for connections, and instead use those 6 pins on the Arduino. And here is the keychain you know, with all the pins labeled, based on this table. And here is the Arduino Uno with all the pins labeled. And you can see that the ground pin is on the left top, while in here is on the right bottom. So we can try to rotate the board like so. And if we look at the air pins like the 5 volts, the MISO, the clock and the reset, they are matching as well. So we should put the keychain you know, over the Arduino board like so. So now we have the Arduino Uno set as a programmer, and we know how to connect the keychain you know, to the Arduino Uno board. So it's time to open a different sketch, a different game. And on the keychain you know, page we have a link to all the different sketches for this version of the keychain you know. So let's for example open the second one called Steroids. And then we can either download this file or just copy the content into the clipboard, create a new sketch inside the Arduino IDE. And then paste the code in here. And we want to upload this sketch to the keychain, you know, and for that we need to set all the different options for the keychain, you know, board. And this is nicely described here in the step 5. Actually, this is for burning the bootloader, which is optional, we don't need to do that. So let's just jump to the step number 6. And in here we want to set the board inside the tools board menu to be the mini core, and that will be the first one, the 80 mega 328. Then we want to open it again and set the clock to be 8 MHz, being the internal clock. And that's something that I've talked about in the beginning of the video. So the Arduino Uno is using the external 16 MHz oscillator, while this board doesn't have any external oscillator, so it has to use the internal one, which can go only up to 8 MHz, so it's half the speed of the Arduino Uno, so it will be slightly slower. But again, we don't have to use any external component for that one. And then the next thing, the BOD, which I'm not quite sure what this stands for, has to be disabled. The compiler LTO has to be disabled as well. And then the variant of the chip is this first one, 328P or 328PA. Finally, and that's a very important thing to do, we need to set the programmer to be Arduino SISP. In this menu there are some options which are not being listed in the documentation, and that's the case for this EEPROM settings, so I've left it to the default settings. As for the communication port settings, this has to be set to the same port as the Arduino Uno. So let's take the keychain you know, board. And as a first step, remove the battery. And then we want to connect the ICSP headers in this orientation. Now since we are not soldering those connections, we need to tilt the keychain you know, board in a way so there is a nice connection between those pins. The keychain you know, board is getting 5 volts and ground from the Arduino Uno board, which means that if we press both buttons at the same time, we will start the game. And while we hold it like this, let's jump back to the Arduino IDE. And all that we need to do in here is to just press the upload button. This will compile the sketch and then it will try to upload it to the board. And you can see that there is some kind of problem. It's not uploading it. And since I wasn't able to solve that problem, unfortunately, we will need to use the Arduino Uno pins instead of using the ICSP header. By the way, if you do know what's wrong and why it's not working, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you. The connection between the Arduino Uno board and the keychain you know, using the Arduino pins and wires is in the documentation. But instead of using wires and just pressing them over the keychain you know, board, I will use this thing. 
which should make the connection more reliable because it has those pogo pins which are pressing against those pins, those connectors and since they are slightly bigger than the hole itself, they should form a nice secured connection. So with the keychain Uno board in place, let's look at the connection diagram and connect those pins to the Arduino Uno board. And then let's again jump into the Arduino IDE. And in here let's try to press the upload button one more time. And we see some error message about the missing EEPROM file but let's ignore it, I don't think that we need it. Because other than that it seems to be uploading. And indeed after a while we see the done uploading message which means that it was uploaded successfully. So when we take the keychain you know, board out and put the battery back inside, we can press both buttons at the same time and start a new game. And once you realize that not only you can move left and right using those two buttons, but if you press them both at the same time, you can shoot, this game is actually quite easy. So let's repeat the same process and also try those other games. Also before connecting the keychain Uno board to the Arduino Uno board, don't forget to remove the battery. So this is the next game called Pong and same as with all the other games, this is a one player game so you play against the computer, against the Arduino and as you lose or as you win, there are those dots on the left side which keeps the score. And then once the game is over, it will just turn itself off, that is until you press both buttons at the same time again. The next game is the classic snake game and you control the snake in a way that the right button turns the snake clockwise, while the left button turns the snake counterclockwise. So it's kind of hard to learn how to play this game, at least for me. There are two more applications which are not real games, although the first one is called the game of life, but really it's not a game, it's just a simulation and it simulates a living organism based on some rules. And the last sketch is a simple spiral that just rotates around. And that's pretty much all that you have until you start writing your own sketches and games. I really like how small this board is and again I was quite surprised that you can have a board with the same chip as the Arduino Uno with so few components. I probably wouldn't use that as a keychain because I would be worried about damaging those components but it's still a very interesting board. The number of games you have for this board is quite limited, again you only have 6 default sketches and out of those only 4 are games. But a bigger problem might be that if you want to play a different game, you need to go through the upload process every time. I mean if you take a look at the memory usage for those individual sketches, they usually take about half of the available memory, so you might be able to fit two of those games if not more at the same time. If you are interested in games based on the Arduino chips, not so long time ago I've reviewed this device which is called the Tinycade, that's a small handheld arcade based on the AT Tiny 85 chip with an OLED display and a few nice games. I also have this device which is called the Ardu Boy and this one is based on the same chip as the Arduino Leonardo with some additional memory so you can fit more games and you don't have to upload a new game every time you want to play a different game. Same as the Tinycade, this one is also using the OLED display. And that's it for today, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section, especially if you know why my ICSP header was not working as expected. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon, thanks and bye.